The goal of this video is to demonstrate how to complete a maxillary topographic occlusal radiograph on both adult and pediatric patients. This will include how to properly set up for the patient, demonstrate how to acquire the radiograph, and how to dismiss the patient and tear down the operatory. First, appropriately set up your operatory and ensure you are wearing personal protective equipment. Now that setup is complete, access the patient's file and salute. Click the button on the left side of the screen that says X-rays. This will then pull up a screen that allows you to access previous radiographs or take additional radiographs. On the upper right hand side, click the Radiographs button. This takes you to the area where you can actually take the radiographs. Then select the occlusal template from the drop down menu at the top. Select the template icon to create a blank template. Then. Select the sensor icon on the top left hand side of the screen and size of the sensor to be used. We will be using a size 2 sensor. A small box will appear on the lower right hand side of the screen when the sensor has been selected. Select the appropriate radiograph settings on the control panel. Once the equipment is set up, remove gloves. Now the patient is ready to be seated. Once the patient is in the chair, explain to them the imaging process. Adjust the chair so that the patient is positioned upright and the chair is at a comfortable working height for the operator. Then, adjust the headrest to support the patient's head. Once you have adjusted the patient's headrest, place the thyroid collar on the patient and secure it. Ask the patient to remove eyeglasses and any objects in the mouth that could interfere with the procedure. Things such as chewing gum, retainers, lip, tongue piercings, or dentures. You may now begin the process of capturing the radiograph. Be sure to don a fresh pair of gloves. The first demonstration will be the maxillary topographic occlusal projection. A maxillary topographic occlusal radiograph is used to examine the palate and anterior teeth of the maxilla. Start by positioning the patient with their maxillary arch parallel to the floor. For adult patients, use a size 2 sensor and place it in the patient's mouth with the tube side facing the maxilla. If you are using phosphor storage plates, a size 4 plate is available for an occlusal radiograph. The University of Nebraska Medical Center College of Dentistry used to use this method. However, digital sensors are the only system currently used in the college. When the digital sensor is positioned, instruct the patient to gently bite down to hold the sensor in an end-to-end -end bite. Next, position the position indicating device so that the central ray is directed through the midline of the arch toward the center of the sensor. The position indicating device should be at about a 65 degree angle toward the center of the sensor and positioned between the patient's eyebrows on the bridge of the nose. When the position indicating device is in the correct position, instruct the patient to hold still and promptly walk to the exposure button. Use the pad of the operator's thumb to depress the button until after the beat discontinues. Before pressing the exposure button, ensure that the patient has not moved. The next demonstration will be of a maxillary pediatric occlusal projection, which is similar to the maxillary topographic occlusal projection. In this presentation, we will be demonstrating on an adult patient. However, we will be describing the procedure for a pediatric patient. A maxillary pediatric occlusal projection can be beneficial in the pediatric population for a variety of reasons. The occlusal film allows for the evaluation of growth and development of permanent teeth, as well as any anterior crowding or trauma, in any pathology or objects located in the area. With occlusal radiographs, the sensor does not touch the floor of the mouth or the palate, making it easier for the child to tolerate. The main difference between a maxillary topographic occlusal projection and a maxillary pediatric occlusal projection is the vertical angulation of the position indicating device to the plane of the sensor as well as the size of the sensor used. A size 2 sensor remains the same. The size is different only when using phosphor plates or films. Begin by having the child sit upright and comfortable in the dental chair, positioning the child so that the maxillary arch is parallel to the floor. For the child, use a size 2 sensor. Place the sensor into the child's mouth with the tube side facing the maxilla. Instruct the patient to lightly bite on the sensor, just enough to hold the sensor in place. Next, place the position indicating device at a 60 degree vertical angulation with the central ray directed through the midline of the arch toward the center of the sensor. 
The top edge of the position indicating device should be between the child's eyebrows on the bridge of the nose. Now, instruct the child patient to hold still, step out of the room, and press the exposure button. Remember to hold the button for the full duration of the exposure. Once complete, walk back into the room, remove the sensor and the thyroid collar from the child. After completing radiographs, take the patient to the waiting area, allowing time for the operator to properly clean the used operatory, using standard precautions. Before retrieving the patient, be sure to completely close out of Salute and log out of the station computer.